as you know, if you watched this video, we said goodbye to our kitchen, moved out of our old house, and then moved into our new home. So today, I wanted to take you on a little tour and story time so you know a little bit more about my thoughts of our new kitchen. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. What's up universe? It's Julie here and welcome back to our channel. And in case you're new, I'm a trained chef who's passionate about helping beginner cooks gain confidence in the kitchen. And that's why I thought it'd be fun to take you on a tour of our new kitchen. As you know, we just moved in, so there's still a lot to be done. So you know that feeling of when you're so overwhelmed that you don't even know where to start? This is the status of my life. And in case you didn't notice, we already filmed from here. You need to go back and watch it. It's our spicy octopus stir fry noodle bowls. It's a really great one. And speaking of which, we decided to do a giveaway with Soul Mills. And they're gonna be sending eight packs of spicy octopus mixes to someone's front door straight from the seas of Korea, packed in dry ice. And we're announcing the winner today. So drum roll, please. And the winner is, ta-da! <laughs> so congratulations, we'll be contacting you and Soul Mills will be sending you your spicy octopus kits straight to your door. Thanks so much for playing everybody. So let's talk about our stainless steel appliances. Again, I'm so thankful to have stainless steel appliances once more. I would say that the coolest part of this stove is that there is this middle burner now so I haven't utilized it yet, honestly, but it does come with like a little grill pan type of thing that you can just put on here. So I'll definitely be using that. And a little bit of story time for you. So warning, warning, this is a little gross, but when we first moved in, we had a mouse in the house. I totally missed Joe jumping, but he closed the door window immediately because there's a little mouse here. We've been finding mouse droppings, Unfortunately, dead mice, but here's one right in the window well. Well, we had one of our friends, thanks Mache, he came over and he helped us move the stove and we just saw like a pile of mouse droppings. I mean, and guess who cleaned it up? That's right. Okay, so I just cleaned up all the mouse poo poo with bleach and wiping it and Joe's gonna try to seal it up with this foam expanding foam to hopefully block off the mice from coming up through this crack in the stove again. Here's my little bag that I've got going and I'm now cleaning the inside of the oven under this drawer because there was mouse droppings in here too. So now that this is resolved, I mean that was like crazy. I feel so much more at peace and at least I know like what's behind the stove. We sealed it all up so that there were no more little furry friends climbing up from the basement. And then over here, our dishwasher works well, but when we first moved in, it was a little wonky. We're wondering why. So Joe was here doing dishes one time, literally by hand. He wasn't even using the dishwasher and it just turned on by itself and started making walking dead noises. Like he said, it was just like, like constantly wouldn't turn off. So then later on, he looked down and he noticed that there was a flood on the floor. We also discovered when we first moved in here that there was some leakage coming down here from the dishwasher. That's another story in itself, but welcome to the joys of home ownership, right? So it was like within the first two weeks we were here and Joe came down and saw that there was some leakage. And we're like, ah, that's probably why this tile was removed. <laughs> And so there were a couple of like home ownership stories, like nightmares we've already experienced since being here, but you know what? It's at least resolved now, so we're okay. And guess what? Thank you, Joe. He did a little bit of YouTube investigation and he figured out how to fix our broken dishwasher and prevent the leaking. So good job. Oh, I have to mention one thing too. Anyone know why my microwave is extremely loud? I mean, the fan blows at the same time and I can't get the fan to stop. That's like every single time I have to microwave anything. And even if I try to turn the fan off, 
doesn't turn off. So this is our nice little LG refrigerator. This is the coolest part of this refrigerator. Look at that. You can open it up just for the drinks. And I think that's great. So especially if you're a parent and you need to get your kid your little yogurt drinks or whatever right away, juice boxes, it's good. And then also my tall items can fit in here and not crowd up the rest of my fridge. I won't show you the rest of my fridge because it's super messy right now. So this is pretty nice. It's pretty good, but we do want to replace it because first of all, it is broken a little bit like that. And also the handle is wonky. It doesn't really like turn on easily, and, but it's okay. However, Joe surprised me one day and got me this. And I was like so like impressed. You guys, I am so excited and really pleasantly surprised because Joe just opened this box in front of me and he ordered this without my knowledge, without my dis without even me telling him. I think he, actually I remember you asking me if I had a choice of a faucet, what would I want? And I said either gold or black, right? But that was after I purchased that already. <laughs> oh really? Like you already got the black one? Wow, it's perfect. I've always wanted this kind of style. He knows that I like black fixtures and I was thinking of getting like a black faucet, but also I, I do tend to like this industrial style. I always wanted that in our last place, but we didn't get it. That'll look pretty cool, right? And I think it'll kind of like update this kitchen. And speaking of updating our kitchen, thank you so much for those of you who really like our kitchen so far. I really do think it films nicely. It's very clean aesthetically. Um, and you know, I think there's nothing really wrong with it. For me personally, I don't think I really like the style of cabinet so much because I think it's a bit traditional for my taste. It's a lot of grooves and even for cleaning wise and things like that. And then also this brass hardware type of thing or copper, I'm not really sure what it is. It's kind of like brown copper brass. Um, that matches really well with this style of cabinet. But at the same time, it's not really my taste. I think it looks overall okay. It's like neutral, it's shiny, but I'm thinking of changing it to black fixtures. So any of this kind of like renovation stuff, I might put on my second channel, in case you didn't know, I have a vlog channel, Life with Julie Yoon. I'll leave that information for you down in the description box. And it'll be kind of like us slowly renovating and like doing those little DIY projects and final touches to our house room by room. And then for the backsplash, once again, it is pretty clean. It's like white, um, neutral, but for me personally, I, I think it's a little tiny. And so then for this, I'm wondering if I should put DIY, like, stick on subway tiles. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. I am really thankful and excited that we have a window by our sink. I mean, that's something that I've always wanted. I think we only had that one time in all the years that we've been married and moved around from the East Coast to the West Coast to the Midwest. Right, Joe? Only like one apartment did we ever have a window by the sink. And I love it because not only can I let in some cool breeze while I'm cooking right here, and it does get hot and I like can air out smells and things, but I can stare outside while I'm washing dishes. If you can't tell, there's some little imperfections around our kitchen that drive me a little bananas. For instance, this is actually crooked, this drawer. I even got in a second opinion from our contractor who was fixing our basement and like you just have to like redo it. The way that it's cut, the way that it's resting and also our drawers themselves are pretty shallow. They actually oddly enough hold less than the, our last place and you know how small that kitchen was, right? Like when I transferred over all of our things into this kitchen, I was thankful because I was like, ooh, look at all this space. It feels spacious, right? Like it's kind of like that open kitchen, whereas our other kitchen was more railroad style, enclosed with the walls. Like I couldn't see what Lincoln was up to, but now I can like look to my left and my right. I know where he, where he is, but there's really no cabinet space or drawer space. Isn't that so weird? It's just the way that it's built and made. So I've been trying to be like more creative on like where to store it all. Over here is our little coffee nook. And this is funny enough, like the first thing I set up when we first moved in here, I was like, where's the Keurig? Actually, I knew exactly where it was. I think I might have hugged it on the way here. <laughs> but like I put our coffee station right here and I think it's so great because all the mugs and all the things you need to make coffees and teas are like here and down here. And it's like all in one space. 
my magnets this is also the first thing that i put up it was like this whole area right here i found them and put them up right away because it reminded me of our old place and i wanted it to feel a little bit more like our kitchen it took me a long while to make this kitchen feel like our kitchen it was just a little weird i can't explain it let's talk about our countertops so some people like the black countertops and i do too if it's like that modern rustic farmhouse look I was always gravitating more towards lighter countertops, whether it's like white marble or kind of like that light gray mixed uh, granite look. So this took a little while for me to get used to. And also, if you kind of can tell, our house is extremely beige. We didn't pick it. It was the way it was. And actually, our entire house is coated in this beige. So it's making me a little bit sleepy. One day I hope to kind of like change that out. So I think if we can like either change the wall color or change the cabinetry or something, um, I would like this black countertop a little bit better. I decided instead of like being against it to like go with it. So eventually I'm gonna change everything to be a little bit more black and white. So for instance, if you go over here, you might notice that we put up our little eat sign and excuse me because I actually ruined it. Like I was trying to clean it and like a dummy, I just like <laughs> ruined it. I actually made it all crazy. So Joe was like thinking, well, anyways, it's blending in too much with the beige. We both agree. So he thought that we should paint it white. Um, I was thinking black at first, but then it might be a little too like stark. So we'll see. Should it be in black or should it be in white? Let's talk about this load bearing pole in the middle of our dang countertop. Like that was the one thing that drove me crazy when I first came here and I saw this. I was like the first eyesore that I saw. And we did get a double check by our contractor working in the basement and he said it is load bearing. And so he's like, there is a way to like reroute the wires or whatever it is to like go like this and whatever. But like, it's a lot of work, probably a lot of money. So I think this is why it was renovated to be like this in the middle of the counter. I'm starting to get used to it and like not care. And actually when we film our videos, we just kind of ignore this side. We just like film from here. So at least there's this like open table area we can film from. from so I'm thankful for that. Over here is our little echo show um, station. I just put on a cake stand with my little card. This card we used when we were like catering and things like that and whatever. Um, so this, I haven't really used it, but it was like super cheap when Joe bought it. So we just stuck it on here. And then down here are our stools. This was our newest find. Just got them off of Facebook Marketplace for a really good deal. And I was looking for something specifically swivel and counter height. It's like 9.30 p.m. and I just came back from an excursion. I was out doing some outdoor dining and then I stopped by on Facebook Marketplace, picked up a little beauty. So I was looking for some bar stools that were counter height that swivel specifically that kind of have a contemporary yet mid-century modern look and were possibly white. And I couldn't believe I found it. The reason I wanted swivel is because I read that if you have a small space um, that it's better to have swivel so you don't have to keep pulling the chair in and out um, every time, but you can just sit and the person can swivel. So like if you need to be like this, you can just like swivel out easily. And I thought that was really good tip. And on top of it, I thought it was really cool because it matches our chairs and our dining table. Luckily, we got this dining table for free from our friend Audrey, who happened to also get it for free. It's a long story, but it had something to do with like a missing part and whatever. And she had this whole extra table for free, so she just gave it to us. To match it, we ended up buying these chairs that look kind of like that mid-century modern look. Um, and I decided to go with black because I wanted a little bit of a contrast and also maybe to bring out the black tones of the black countertop. Our new dining chairs came in this morning and I was debating between white and black and I decided to go with black. What do you think? So this, we got four chairs, we got this on sale. I think I'm gonna start building these today. I really wanna put out our table. I left my computer here because this is literally real life where I do my work. Um, I just perch myself here. I don't really have an office or a desk yet. That's to come. I'll be getting an office soon in our basement. But right now I just perch myself and I do all my recipe writing and script writing and stuff here. Don't mind my mixed decor. I have some Thanksgiving decorations out here because Thanksgiving is coming or it's around this time I'm filming this, but I also have my little Christmas tree 
up because that is coming up next. I can't decide if I want to transition right over into Christmas or not. Over here is our nice blank wall. <laughs> And again, because it's so extremely beige, like I was debating about not putting anything up until we got this place painted, but that might not be for a while. And so right now, what we have here is a snake plant that we got from Joe's mom. And we just recently got this, and I think it's great. She says it's good for like purifying the air. And, and then I'm thinking of putting up two shelves up here, like maybe like this and this, and then putting some decor up. There's lots of little wonky things going on in our place. Like for instance, the placement of this little pendant light, which also came with the house, is not in the right place. Like, I don't think it should be here. I think it should be moved over. And so our contractor said that he could probably move it over, but that's like another big job. I'll probably get something else that matches my whole look eventually and move over the pendant light. I do like that we have a sliding door right here because let the fresh air in and it leads right to the patio and also when Lincoln's playing I can just send him out here sometimes I watch him while I'm doing my work while he's playing outside um, or while I'm in the kitchen so it's been really nice to have this great big window or door that brings in a lot of sunlight because I always want kitchens to have a lot of sunlight especially for like food photography if you're wondering where our metal racks went Oh, don't you worry, because they're right here. If you swing around the corner of our kitchen, we can't help but making another extension of our kitchen here again. So at first we didn't have the metal racks here and I was like, yay, they're in the garage, I can get rid of them. But somehow they ended up back up here because you know what? I still have more kitchen equipment and supplies than the average bear. So here they are. Oh, it's a little messy in here because that's not where this goes. But. Um, because I do so much food styling and I have like more equipment than normal people, like I literally can't help it. I just have to put everything here. I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of like Lincoln's area. So he has his little mark here, um, his little cleaning supplies. And it's so cute because he actually does clean with me. Like I tell him to mop and he picks up his mop. He mops the whole place. He goes under the table. He sweeps up the crumbs. It's really cute. And I think that we're really teaching him some good skills. And then you might notice that this is where the dining room should be. We just got rid of that area and we made it Lincoln's playroom. So that's what you can see behind me in the back of our videos. And I heard some comments that you like it because it shows that like I'm a real person and this is real life. I also think that it adds a little bit of color and brightness to our otherwise kind of non-decorated beige kitchen. I still have this little kitchen helper stool over here. So I'll leave a link for you down below in our description box. It unfolds so that he can easily climb in. I bring it up to the counter and he cooks with me. We do activities here. Um, sometimes he just like washes his car, does like car wash. I think I have a clip from another video from Life with Julie from doing a car wash. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. He came here with his cars already. He knew exactly what it was. Lincoln, you knew that we were gonna do a car wash right now? Yeah. You're gonna get, go on the stool? Yes. Okay, got it. Oh, where's my so yeah he does this while i'm doing other work and then i just mop up everything and um yeah and that's what we do to occupy ourselves i think that i'll be doing some like holiday baking with him cake decorating things like that with him over here as you notice none of our picture frames our designs our posters any of that's up once that stuff is up it'll brighten up this place and this area over here we have remember this kitchen cart in our last kitchen video saying goodbye to our kitchen and we used it for putting like our overstock breakfast items for staging now it holds my spider plant i made this with a bunch of friends before quarantine it says established 2008 because that's when joe and i got married so you can kind of like tell how long we've been married this is probably like the thing that breaks my heart the most. Remember my pull out pantry, my awesome custom pull out pantry that pulls out the shelves, things don't get lost. This is what I am stuck with now. The one thing that I think I will really miss is the pull out drawers of this because we custom built this too. This is from Ikea, but I mean, we added in the drawers and this has been a lifesaver so that something doesn't get buried to the back. I mean, and it's super messy, but I had a couple of friends help me before do this and thankful, thankful for them because when I first moved in and it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have never like figured this out. So we arranged to put all the snacks here. And if you notice, it's like a weird triangular shaped 
thing. So you lose a lot of square footage over here. So putting things here is like a challenge. We decided to put all the like snacks and like grab it and go breakfast item stuff. And then well, thankfully we have another area over here. So this is leading to our newly now renovated basement, which we'll share that process with you on Life with Julie Yoon's. I can't wait to share that with you over there. But over here, these were also here already. So this is where I put my actual pantry items. So this is like my cooking ingredients and like pastas and dry goods. Joe has an idea to eventually change this for me because if you look, there's a lot of space left. I mean, I feel like there's like a good foot left over here. So he's thinking of at least putting new shelves in here and making it deeper. Our subscribe sign, it's still here, but now it's back, it's on an easel. There was no good place to put it where it was still visible, so I just put it here for now. Um, my little Pillsbury Doughboy cookie jar. Uh, I actually thrifted this guy, and he's from like the 80s, and I remember I was like so happy when I found him, and he's in great condition. I just randomly walked into this resale shop, and I'm walking out with this gem. It was really unexpected, but I'm really happy with what I found. I got a little Pillsbury cookie jar made in 1988. I'll probably put like Oreo cookies in him or something. And then our measurements print, in case you didn't know, if you guys saw this like on Pinterest, it gets pins a lot. It's actually from me. This is my hand drawing. So this is my measurements. Overall, I'm really happy with our kitchen. At first I wasn't. Like if you were one of my close friends, you heard me kind of like gripe about it for this or that reason. And a lot of the imperfections I did pick out, but you know what, overall I'm thankful to have more space, having an open layout, and it's been a little challenging trying to figure out how to film. Like, we have to stick cameras up on our microwave, we have to balance it precariously over on that coffee nook ledge, and I was just like waiting for the camera to come crashing down. Just different things, we're gonna have to rig a few things, we're gonna have to play with it, but in general there's like lots of good light, and when I come down here in the morning, it feels very friendly and open. I'm waiting to put those little personal touches here and there all around and I think then it'll really feel like our home. But for now, I'm really excited to invite you into our kitchen, into our home, in this new chapter of our lives and do a lot more cooking for you. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to push like, leave a comment down below, hit that bell for notifications so that you know when a new video like this comes up and of course subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.